You are welcome to another edition of the Markets Opening Gong, where we bring you updates from the Nigerian capital market. This edition captures the market performance for Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. From the Nigerian exchange, the equities market resumed downtrend as NGX ASI depreciated by minus 0.19% to close the day negative as investors lost 52.35 billion naira. Its year-to-day returns currently stands positive at plus 21.28%. The All Share Index closed at 51,805.41 basis points as market capitalization stands at 27.928 trillion naira in 6,689 deals. The market closed with 33 gainers to 13 losers. The top three gainers for the day were Okumu Oil Palm, Multivest PLC, and May and Baker PLC. While the top three losers were Naku PLC, Mutual Benefits and Wema Bank. GT Code, Transcorp PLC and FBN Holdings were the most active stocks by volume. From the unlisted OTC market, the NSI and market capitalization inched up plus 1.29% to close at 709.91 basis points and 933.44 billion naira respectively. The total volume traded dipped by minus 51.40% to close at 277,862 units valued at 28.7 million and traded in 32 deals. The FMDQ good debt market size closed at 27.34 trillion naira. From the currency and FX market, the NAFX rate appreciated by plus 0.07% to close at 417 naira 11 kobo, while the I and E FX opened at 417 naira 75 kobo and closed at 419 naira to a dollar. For the commodities market, the Brent crude oil price dipped by minus 2.44% to close at $103.35, while the West Texas Intermediate dipped by minus 2.34% to close at $100.68 as of 11.24 Central Daily Time. For metals, gold moved down by minus 0.61% to close at $1,843.54, and silver also moved down by minus 1.19% to close at $21.56 as of 11.24 a.m. Central Daily Time. Taking from agriculture, from the FX markets, Sogu moved down by 9.97% to close at 203 naira 47 kobo, while Paddy Rice and Maize also dropped by 8.90% and 2.38% to close at 231 naira 22 kobo and 205 naira respectively. You can log on and subscribe to ProShare.co to get our daily market report snapshot. For news around the markets, JP Morgan removed Nigeria from its list of emerging market sovereign recommendations that investors should be overweighting, saying the country had not taken advantage of high oil prices. It also added Serbia and Uzbekistan to the list. Also, the FMDK exchange announced that it has admitted the MTN 150 billion naira commercial paper issuance series 1 and 2 into its market. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. You can join our website or subscribe www.proche.co to get more information and insights into the market and also follow our social media platforms displayed on the screen. Till we come your way again, thank you for watching.